Welcome to the season finale of VCOM Setup, Audio Configuration. Once we configure the audio flows, your VCOM system will be up and running. In summary, so far we've installed our stations, configured their priorities, linked them, and configured the intercom matrix logic. The final step is to route the audio. We're setting up our system with AES67, so we'll begin by walking through that process. There are four steps to this process. 1. We must enable AES67 and create our AES67 flows in Dante Controller. 2. We must wire our AES67 receivers and transmitters into our design. 3. We must route audio from the VCOM stations to the QSYS core. And 4. We must route audio from the QSYS core back into the stations. Step 1. To start, we have to enable AES67 on the VCOM stations in Dante Controller. Select the VCOM station. Go to the AES67 config tab. Enable AES67. It will ask if you want to enable AES67 mode. Select yes. Then, you must go reboot the audio chip. Select yes again to confirm. It will take a few moments for the audio chip to reboot. Now that we've enabled AES67, we must create an AES67 multicast flow. Click the little flow icon to open the multicast flow dialog box. Select AES67, check the transmit box, then click create. Step two. The next step is to go back into QSYS Designer. We have to hop out of the core's live mode, so disconnect from the core. Now we can add a few more modules to our design. On the left in inventory, click the plus icon. We will be adding three AES67 receivers and three AES67 transmitters. We'll need one for each VCOM station. These are so we can run the digital audio from the VCOM station into our design and then back to the station. Once they are added to the design, we can drag and drop them into place. These will be connected to the intercom matrix, so I usually put the receiver to the left of that module and the transmitter to the right of the module to keep the design clean. Edit them by changing the channel count to 1. Now let's add our audio cable. Connect the AES67 receivers to the intercom matrix. Remember when we gave each plugin a different intercom matrix input number? That's where this comes into play. Then you'll take the output of the intercom matrix and connect it to your AES67 transmitters. Step 3. The third step is to configure our receivers and transmitters. To do this, we must first save to core and run. Let's start with the AES67 receiver module. The stream names should be available to select from what we created earlier in Dante Controller. At this point, you should be able to see signal from your voice when you talk into the handset while pressing the button in the middle of the handset. This means you have audio going from the VCOM station to the QSYS core. Next, we must configure the transmitters so we can send the audio back into the station. This is how you get the side tone and are able to listen to other stations. Step 4. Let's open the AES67 transmitter boxes. You should make your stream name something that can easily be relatable to the station it belongs to. This will help you once we go back into Dante Controller. The other important step is to set the multicast address to a static IP. By default, the multicast address will be something like 239.69.xxx.xxx. However, you will want to give the transmitter a static IP, otherwise anytime the core reboots or the design is pushed, you will lose your routing from core to the station. Once that is complete, let's open Dante Controller to finish the set. Go to the Routing tab. 
Here, we'll want to patch the audio from the AS67 transmitter to the Dante receiver in the station. This is why it was important to name your transmit streams so you can easily relate them to the stations. Once we're done, let's go back to QSYS Designer and watch the audio flow. You'll see if I start talking into one handset, the side tone is coming back to us only, but if someone else is on the same party line and picks up their handset, they too can now hear what you are saying. Success. This concludes our VCOM setup process. By completing this video series, you should now have an understanding of how to install VCOM hardware, configure the intercom matrix logic, and route audio in your system. If you stick around, you'll be able to find additional videos posted that take a deeper dive into the specific topics about VCOM, such as updating firmware, VPVC utilities, and troubleshooting your setup. Also, be sure to check out some of the other courses that have been posted in the Elkhorn McBride Academy, such as Intro to Show Control Programming, Ride Player, VPage, and the AV Uncompressed Bin Loop. We'll see you around.